I'm here in one of the booths from Arabia. So please tell us about Arabian honey. Yeah. So what we produce here is uh, cider honey. It's a very special honey that comes from the desert. Uh, normally you find it in the United Arab Emirates, uh, in Yemen. It's a very uh, uh, special honey. It has a special texture. It does not crystallize at low temperatures. It has a lot of uh, health benefits. Uh, we've been using it traditionally in the Middle East as, you know, um, as like a medicine sort of. So what we do is um, we produce a cider honey as a plain form and then we have a lot of special blends. Everybody's going crazy about our uh, uh, lemon ginger and, and cider honey. We have uh, a product with uh, uh, hazelnut, which is like a chocolate. You could say it's not chocolate. It's just hazelnut. Tastes really good. Then we have honey with nuts. So it's, it's, we use the same uh, premium honey and we add uh, uh, raw nuts to it. It, it comes in, in, in small packages. We do uh, these uh, you know, small packages which help people to stay uh, healthy while they're like traveling or, or, yeah. or moving. Um, it, it comes in this form, which is we call a honey spoon. So it's, it's one time use. And then you have the honey with the nuts in, in this uh, small package over here. So yeah, it's, it's uh, I would say unique product unique blends that nobody else does and then the packaging that that's what makes us different yes and could you tell us a little bit more about where did you get the idea of the spoons well um everybody you know uh, the, the, everybody lives in a in a very uh um like the lifestyle is, is quite vibrant everybody is moving a lot people want something ready on the go like you can get, carry a, a jar of honey and just keep moving around but with this spoon it's it's very convenient uh, if you find it at a store uh, 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 or if you carry it with you, it would be very nice and convenient to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So that's the idea. It's just to bring convenience uh, uh, to people's lifestyle, yeah? Yeah, because you see a lot of people when they take the, the coffee, their coffee, they take their small honey. It's hard, hard to mix it with the coffee. That's but right. when, when they have this one in the morning, when they go to Tim Hortons or something, they love it. Yeah. It's going to be lovely to take this one and put it inside the coffee. It's going to be a very nice idea for them. Yes, it is. And it's very efficient as well. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that you use it for me me medicine and stuff. What are some of the things that you use your honey to treat? Well, it's tradition. It's, it's more of a tradition. Like people, whenever you have a sore throat or you're not feeling well, you just take this honey and it's, it's going to boost your immune system and help you get over it. So, yeah, it's, I wouldn't say it's like a, a pure medicine. It's just a traditional thing. Yeah. But certainly it has a lot of uh, health benefits, that's for sure. Yes. And other than just the packaging and, you know, the products in general, is there anything else that makes your honey unique from the rest of the world? Yeah. We have, we have the, the new flavors with the honey. Like you have uh, the ginger with the lemon inside the honey. This is very, very unique. And you have the one with the, with the mint. This is very good, especially in the morning when you take it, it's open everything here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's awesome. And... Approximately in Arabia, how many tons of honey do, you, do beekeepers or that country get in about a year or in one season? So how many, how much honey? Not sure, maybe I can ask a colleague maybe for honey. Yeah, this we is, have is the, a band the because like this cedar honey is not easy to find. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of trees for cedar honey. Oh, you I have see. it, yeah, you have it in Dubai, you have it in uh, Yemen. It's not a lot of honey you can take from these trees. That's why it's very expensive honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are there any like young beekeepers around my age or even younger that are always interested in you know the honey production? Yeah, mo this is mostly in like in, in that region. It's mostly family business. So you'd find like the grandfather and then the, the the son and then the grandsons. It's it's more of a tradition. This company it's a family business. Like it has been you know yeah, uh, the uh, the different generations. And the son take it. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah like and all interested, all the family, they are interested with the, with the bees. They all know about bees. Since uh, you are a child, you know about the bees, about honey. You like this. And we, they grow with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. So thank you so much for the interview. And is there any way that people can contact you? You know, email? Yeah. Page? Through the website. Like, we have all the products on the websites. That's almalaki.com. So all the range of products and... Yeah, well, like we're selling in the Middle East and we're also exporting to different parts of the world. All right, and uh, the sorry, what what are the main countries that you export some honey to? Um, uh, well, apart from the Middle East, we've been exporting to Russia, to Japan, and uh, hopefully uh, to, to, to North America. We're working on that uh, at the moment. That's awesome. Our, our main company in Dubai. 
-hmm. Yeah, our main company in Dubai, and we export to the other country. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Well, we need to thank you for the interview, the nice interview, because it's nice to, to see uh, a young girls is very interested with the bees, with the honey. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And I hope you have a good rest of the time here Thank in Apimandia. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Is it okay if we can get a little... Uh